Hello and welcome to Dave's Delightful Dishes. As always, I'm Dave and it's such a delight to have you here with me today in my kitchen. And today I'm doing a request made for me by my wife. She said she would like to have something kind of healthy for lunch that's lighter. Uh, you know, you guys have seen me cook before, you know, I do a lot of uh, kind of lots of butter and uh, you know, things can get a little bit rich. So what I did is I came up with something using one of her favorite vegetables. The zucchini. So today we're going to make zucchini pie. Let's check it out. You'd be surprised. This is a shockingly easy recipe to make. It has very few ingredients. And here they are right here. So basically you're using shred, you know, box grated. I used a box grater, but I'm shredding, a, shredding a zucchini. You need to get three cups of zucchini. And I just took one about this size. It's, it's identical twin. And usually I'd use my food processor, but after 20 years uh, of really heavy use, it broke a couple of weeks ago. And I haven't uh, decided on what model I want to go with for a new one yet. I actually might make a video about that, but that's more to come later. So what we need to do is take the ingredients you saw there and they are all going to mix together in a bowl. I had one stray thing of basil in there. So three eggs. Mine are from my hens, but obviously you can get yours from the store. And I got to beat these. So just get those mixed up a little bit so they're scrambled. And then we add in all the other ingredients. It literally doesn't get easier. Basil and oil. Now I used avocado oil today. Uh, you can use canola or um, vegetable oil, but I had avocado oil and it's pretty good for you. So I substituted that. One small onion, chopped. <laughs> Four ounces of shredded provolone. One, you know, four tablespoons or a quarter ounce of, uh, I'm sorry, four, a cup and then a quarter cup of the cheeses, which does I break down to four ounces and one ounce. A half a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, and three cups of the grated zucchini. Now, the one thing I did because I've, I've made a soggy pie before, is I took all this, all this stuff once I grated it, and I put it in a tea towel and squeezed all the moisture I could out. That way it won't just be, you won't just have a soaking wet dish when you get home, when you get done. But now we need to mix all this together real well. Just think of turning it over until it all combines into one mass. Okay, so now that we've got it all mixed in, it looks just like that. And it is ready to go into a greased pie pan, pie pan. And I have an oven set to 350 degrees. So get as much of it in as you can, which is should be all of it since I'm using a rubber spatula. And we want to get this nice and even because presentation matters. Remember that. And I'm just going to grate just a little bit of pepper over the top. And then this is going in the oven for 30 minutes. We'll see you back in a few. Okay, so 30 minutes have elapsed. I want to take a look at the pie and see how it's coming along. What we're looking for is golden brown along the whole top. And as you can see, it's just starting to brown around the edges. So we need to let it go for a little bit longer. I'm going to check it again in 10 more minutes. All right, so the pie is out of the oven. You can see how nicely golden brown it is. 
and this uh, this particular pie in this oven and this particular day took 40 minutes to get there uh, so between 30 and 45 minutes you want to just kind of after 30 minutes you want to start checking so now we've got to let this cool for a little bit before we think about cutting it so let's let this sit for 10 minutes and then i'll meet you over at the workstation and we'll do final preparations all right the pie is cooled enough for you to be able to cut it and now we're gonna do some final preparation we're gonna take a little bit of extra parmesan and we're going to grate it on top and then i've got some extra basil leaves and my my garden and i'm actually going to show you guys in a product a product review since it's kitchen adjacent where i keep my herbs in this vertical herb garden i've got out of my back porch but i have many types of basil now because they're easy to get to and it's like a living wall so i'm putting some purple basil and some green basil up you know, like regular standard sicilian basil and put that out for uh, presentation purposes. You know, this thing is still warm, so let me uh, go like that to show you. And if you are, I mean, this thing is half cheese already, but if you're an extreme cheese lover, you can grate as much of this Parmesan on as you like. But let's go ahead and uh, better use one of my bare hands here so I can hold on to the pie plate. And I'm going to slice in. Slice in again, and this is still hot, so it is very tender. The ideal will be to do it when it has cooled. Like this can be served hot, or this can be served cold. I think this would be better served cold with a, with a side salad for lunch, but you can certainly have it hot as well. It's good either way. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, I better put the trivet over there, shouldn't I? And then, of course, I've got a little uh, floret of purple basil. And we have zucchini pie. And my goodness, doesn't it look delightful? So hopefully my wife will like this. I'm pretty sure it's got everything in it that she likes. And it smells pretty good. I mean, there's no reason why it's not going to be spectacular. But I want to hear what you think. Give me some comments. Let me know after you try this recipe. And believe me, I would love you to try this recipe. Let me know how it went. And let me know what I should be doing next. You know, you can do that in the comments here or on my Facebook page at Dave's Delightful Dishes. It'll be linked in the, in the description below, as well as the ingredients for this recipe and my Instagram page. And on my Facebook page, you can find the link to my Spreadshirt app where you can buy merch from me, uh, like these nice aprons that I have. And there's lots of other stuff, coffee cups, tumblers, you name it. And go have a look. See if there's anything that works for you. And uh, beyond that, I hope to see you at the next recipe.